homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha. As the year draws to a close, it's good to reflect on honouring good friendship. And the sutta that comes to mind is the Upada Sutta in Sangyutta Nikaya chapter 45, discourse number 2. The Buddha is dwelling among the Sakyans in a town called Nagaraka. And Venerable Ananda comes to the Buddha, pays homage and says to him, Venerable Sir, this is half of the spiritual life, that is good friendship, good companionship, good comradeship. And the Buddha says to Venerable Ananda, not so Ananda, not so Ananda, this is the entire spiritual life Ananda, that is good friendship, good companionship and good comradeship. When one has a good friend, a good companion, a good comrade, it is to be expected that one will develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And so the Buddha is saying that Kalyanamitta's good friendship is the entire spiritual life. And for us, that's how we connect. We connect through the Buddha's words, we connect through the teachings, and we take refuge in Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Our aspiration is similar to practice, to realize the truth and to end all suffering. And we do this by walking the Noble Eightfold Path together. And so this time as we come to the end of the year is really around honoring this Kalyanamitata, this good friendship that we have cultivated together through the Buddha's words through his instruction and encouraging each other to stay on the path, to correct any wrong views and make them right views and to make sure we're on the right path. Good friendship connects us all across the world and we look at all the countries who have touched into what we've spoken about this year, then we know that the world is a lot smaller than we imagine and that we can come from different cultures and different upbringing and yet our predicament is the same. We are not connected simply by personal dukkha, we are in fact connected through the larger predicament and we are brothers and sisters in that, brothers and sisters in old age, sickness and death brothers and sisters in being bound to samsara and wanting to know the way out. And so our aspiration is joined in the sense of wanting to be free of suffering. So something very joyful, very heartwarming about this good friendship. And it's lovely as we close the year to honour this good friendship because it is the whole spiritual life. We inspire each other by our individual good examples. We inspire each other because of our individual sense of urgency. We inspire each other when we attempt to keep good virtue. When we have these Dhamma discussions and questions and all kinds of things that are associated with wanting to walk this path. There are many of us practicing across the world. And so today we honor this noble friendship, this good friendship. And when you think about this good friendship, what's really wonderful about it is that we are encouraging each other in the noble qualities. So if you remember the Megya Sutta, some of you may know the Megya Sutta, it's in the Udana, chapter four, discourse number one. And the Buddha is encouraging Megya about good qualities and things that will lead to maturity, spiritual maturity. And the main thing of the five things is actually a good friend. And the reason for that is because when you have good friends, they always encourage you in virtuous behavior, either through their example or through their direct encouragement. It's also because when you talk, the talk is very austere and it's very good for setting the mind free. 
making it turn away from the world because it leads to extreme disgust, dispassion, cessation. It calms the mind and it leads to direct knowledge because you experience it for yourself. And of course to the highest knowledge and eventually to Nibbana. When you have a good friend, you always lean towards Nibbana. And then of course, when you're around good friends, the quality of Ara, the video, increases because you see your friends striving in that good direction towards Nibbana. And so you make that effort, you strive yourself because you follow their good example. And of course, the last quality is being wise. When you develop together, then wisdom grows. You actually encourage each other. You have the talk that is austere and beneficial and you see each other each other grow in the Dhamma. And so this whole process of good friendship is one that is very heartening. It, it lifts all of us. At different times we feel low due to the conditions or we are challenged by the conditions. But always we say to each other to bear with those conditions and to keep on the path. And so that's something that when we connect it's joyful, it's joyful to know that we had that impact together. When we think about good friends, sometimes some of us feel bereft or at a loss because we don't feel like we have Kalyanamitta around us. Maybe it's the different places that we live or the people that we know. Not many of them are inclined towards Dhamma. But a very good reminder outside of what we do together is also to remember what the Buddha says. He says this in the Upadha Sutta, he says, By relying upon me as a good friend, Ananda, being subject to birth are freed from birth, being subject to aging are freed from aging, being subject to death are freed from death, being subject to sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure and despair are freed from sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure and despair. So what the Buddha is reminding us is that he is our good friend. When we read his words, hear his words, practice what he teaches, he actually offers us the way out. And so he's someone that one can trust, that you don't have to doubt what he says. And if you really do take refuge in Buddha, Dhamma Sangha, then this really begins with the Buddha. And when we feel lost and alone, then it's the Buddha's words that are the ones that we find solace and we find joy in. Let's take a few moments to honour good friendship that we've cultivated together. Whatever noble aspirations that you have, may the path be easeful. May you stay strong and resolute in whatever determinations you've made. May wisdom grow as part of walking this path. And as you train and practice, may the path bear fruit. And may the Buddha and the Noble Arahants remain our shining lights in terms of our good example, our good friends. As the year closes, blessings of the Triple Gem, wishing you all very well. And wishing you well for the new year. Pero antes de